One, two, three, four. A limited. My shirt says it all. Get some new clothes. Four Scottsdale singles flaunt their hips and their lips to please him. She just attacked his face. The girl has got lips that are pillows. <laughs> but what's shaking behind closed doors? And she took him into the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. His jaw dropped. He just didn't know what to do with himself. Stanky. Three get the X, one gets the date. Oh my god, is this show rated R? Ding, 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 ding. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> My name is Chris, and I am a radio personality at Kiss FM in Phoenix, Arizona. And today's hottest music, the new 1047 Kiss FM. My personality is I will be the mel most mellow guy you've ever met in your entire life one second, and then I'll be like a crazed case of ADD the next. Do you let your man go out to a strip club? My ideal woman would definitely be somebody with a spark, somebody who could drive like a, her own Harley to a cocktail party and still take the room by storm. A limited. <laughs> This is round one, and we are at a wine and art festival here. Right off the bat, I'm gonna be looking for like uh, an appreciation for the finer things, but uh, I wanna see kind of a spark there too. You guys like me because I'm fun to be with, I'm an awesome person, and I'm beautiful. I'm Kim, I'm a bartender, and I mix my drinks like I like my men. Strong, straight up, and on fire. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, my name is Chris. I'm Kim. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. She seemed like the type of girl you could go to a bar, sit belly up, and have a drink with. At the end of this date, I'm gonna ride off into the sunset with this guy. I'm Tara, I'm a therapeutic horseback riding instructor, and nothing is sexier than a woman who rides a horse. Hi. Hey, what's your name? I'm Tara. Hi, how you doing, Tara? Nice to meet you. I noticed right away that he had great teeth, a great smile, and great hair. I hope this guy can read, because my shirt says it all. I'm Shan, I love to flirt. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you What's your name? My name is Shan. Dark hair and beautiful blue eyes. I just love it. I want to look good, I want to feel good, and I want other people to feel the same way. I'm Erin, I own my own clothing company, and I like to dress up my man. Hi. Hi, and you I'm are? Aaron. Nice What's to your meet name? You. Aaron. Aaron? Oh, please. great. Perfect, just what I like. Curly hair, I love the curly hair. We're going to start with the roll call here. Um, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I am a therapeutic horseback riding instructor. Awesome, for awesome. Do you like work with kids, kids or are you? Um, all ages, five all ages. to 18. She seemed a little elementary school teacher style, not really aggressive enough for him. And what do you do? I am a clothing designer and I own my own company. It's called Zo Clothing. So like, what kind of clothing do you have? Uh, guys and girls club wear. Her hair, I mean, you can almost like plant a, an egg on top of it and hatch it, you know. It just seemed kind of prima donna kind of thing. What do you do for a living? I'm a bartender. Uh, nice, cool. We're going to get along very Posting well my own okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Uh, what do you do? I work for uh, framing, picture framing. Picture framing, right on. The bootylicious shirt, uh, sorry, you got to go. Do I personally think she's bootylicious? Not so much. Very cool. I brought some drawings just so that you can know a little bit about me, know my style, know what I'm into. Oh, so very cool. Just feel free to look at it anytime you want. I will look at want. them. Yes, I will. I will look at them and tell you to sign me clothing. And, <laughs> and I'll Skimpy do it. number. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. Oh, okay, well, well, we'll work that out. She's like, <laughs> don't put me out. Don't, don't boss me around. There we go. Get cool. You guys? I can't see where he'd really have a use for women's fashion sketches. The guys are more interested in taking a woman's clothes off than about how she makes them. Alcohol, mm, that way, let's go. Without further ado, I think we should get onto the wine tasting and get good and sloshed. Now the best part of a wine and art festival, of course, ding, 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 hello, the wine. I did notice that she was the first person to grab the wine glass. She was excited about all the free wine because maybe she's a little bit of a lush, delicious lush. You guys want to eat before you do this or no? Ample the bread. I'm I'm very hungry. How can you, oh, you guys, yeah, eat up. This is all nasty breath stuff right here. This is good stuff. What do you want? I'd like to no, serve no, you. I'm, I'm, Are I'm you sure? Off. I'm going to let y'all get nice and stinky. Okay. And then I'm just going to hang back and judge the stinkiness. Quite the gentleman. I kind of wanted to smell their breath just because I wanted to see if they do it. Let me see the breath smell. That was a good garlic ear there. What can I say? I'm from Wisconsin. Cheese comes with everything. Yeah, hold on. I'm testing breath right now. Oh, okay. this is gross. Yeah, I want it. It's so breath. What is it? So what is the lucky oh, guy yeah. doing with you with, with four women? Well, with breath like that, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let me smell. Uh, Aaron went in for the kill right away. I kissed him because I didn't want him to smell my breath, so I was trying to take the idea of smelling my breath off his mind. She's trying to be slick, and it just didn't work for her. All right. 
I see you. You have like the duro. I can't smell a thing on her breath. She was just <sighs> all over his his whole face. She just like attacked his face and was like. <laughs> I know my breath didn't taste bad. They all had bad breath. You know what I mean? Of course they're going to. They just ate garlic. After we did the wine tasting, we went over and sat by the band, and I just kind of asked him a few questions, got to know him a little bit better. OK, let's say um, you're out at a party. A guy comes up to you and says the ultimate line. What is it? Oh, I got to answer that. The one. ultimate line. I want to hear it all. OK, so I was in this bikini contest the other day. I was sitting there, this young boy, probably 17, walked up to me and he said, excuse me, are you from Tennessee? And I said, no. He goes, oh, because you're the only 10 I see. Oh. Isn't that horrible? The only reason Tara used the Tennessee line is to try to announce that she was in some bikini contest. I don't think Tara's a 10. I think she's more like a six or a seven. I had a lot, but the one that comes to my mind is this guy comes up to me and he says, do you salsa? That, What's wrong with that? He asked like me, he, out of the blue, he didn't, didn't ask me my name, didn't ask me anything else, said, do you salsa? The guy probably just wanted to know where a Mexican restaurant was at. I actually had a guy come up to me, moved my hair away from my collar, like that, right, checked right. my tag. Oh, no. Just like I thought, made, made in heaven. heaven. Yes, that's a classic. Yes, I love that. Yes. Kim was not made in heaven. Uh, I don't know why someone would say that. Uh, no, uh-uh. Last but not least, give me the line. What's your name and number? Oh. That? That's just a basic. Yeah, baby, that's just what's the basic. your name it's and like, number? Couldn't you even put some flair in it? That's not a pickup line. It's just stupid. Maybe that is truly the best line she's ever gotten. What one thing could you do right now to impress me enough for me to keep you for the second round? I will say my dancing. You're dancing? Yes, I like to dance. All right, we don't have much of a groove here, but you guys want to give her a little beat? <laughs> <laughs> Working that. Come here, turn around. Let me smack it. Turn around. Shia's dance was, I'm not sure what that was. She was doing some kind of lombardo. <laughs> Kim. Probably a smooch. A smooch? Yeah. Chick kiss. Yay. <laughs> oh, and she's into the bottom lip, too, which is very nice. Ew. Kim kissing him. Oh, my god. I, oh, was this, is this show rated R? Oh, my god. No. Uh-uh. Aaron? I play the piano, so I'm going to play you a song. I'm going to go up to the band and play you a song right oh, for now. for real? Nice. This is sweet. I'm just going to play something really quick, just. You go, Alicia Keys. You make me nervous, you know. Is it my intimidating so build? I just want you to know in case I mess up a few keys. No, it's OK. I won't know. I'm an idiot. See? Nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, my it's goodness. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm nervous. OK, hold on. I'm so nervous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I was totally embarrassed for Erin. She doesn't know how to play the piano. I can't get it. That's all right. Don't worry. You're impressing me enough by just sitting down there. I can't get it. Kind of seemed like a train wreck. <laughs> Your looks make me nervous. I can't do it today. Coming up, who will Chris cut first? I think Chris will cut Shia. I think Shia should get cut because she's not all there. I think Chris is going to cut Kim because she was easy. I think Shay is going to get cut because her bootylicious t-shirt just doesn't go with his style. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Chris will eliminate first? Shia, Aaron, Tara, or Kim? I want to start this off by telling you guys how much fun I've had so far in the first round. I want to let you guys know that you guys have all been really, really cool. But the name of the show is Eliminate, and I'm going to eliminate Shia. Oh, good luck, girls. Come on. Next, we're going to be going to a place Why called Why did you support... eliminate me? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> and I think that maybe you're just a little too quiet. Yeah, you're too sweet for me. I need somebody who's just a little bit more bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I decided to cut Chia because I kind of like somebody with a little bit more pizzazz. I can't believe that I was cut. Shia, get some new clothes. <laughs> if you wanted a bitchy girl, well, Screw you, Chris. In round two, we're going to Sapporo, one of the newest, hippest, and finest sushi restaurants here in Scottsdale. 
You guys look fantastic. Oh my God, look at you guys. Did you, now is this one of your designs here or no? Erin's dress was interesting, especially the nice little gap she had on her upper thigh. It just, it was kind of tacky. Let's go in and eat some sushi and have some drinks. I figured we'd have some food, some drinks, maybe get them a little liquored up, try to get inside their heads a little bit. I would like to uh, order up a round of my specialty shot, which is called piece of ass. Do you know how to make a piece of ass? We need some pieces of ass over here. And my head kind of went, what, 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 you know? And I was like, wow, cool. I'm getting some. Ordering a piece of ass at a nice restaurant? No. I don't know if these girls can handle it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm You're done? done? You're not doing another socket I'm, shot? Uh, I can't. You guys are so fire. <laughs> it's not that I can't handle the piece of ass, it's just that I don't need alcohol to be cool. You give a great piece of ass. <laughs> just want to let you know that. Thank you. Now, I got to ask you guys. If you had to choose a, um, a type of kissing, would you classify yourselves as open mouth, peckers, or bottom lippers? I really want to see what these girls kiss like. I think it's very influential in uh, the way a relationship runs. So each of you give me an example of how you kiss. All right. He's a really good kisser. I enjoyed it. and. Uh... Wouldn't mind doing it again. You're up next, all right? I'm up next. Oh, girl got some lips going on. Sarah's kiss off the chain. The girl has got lips that are like pillows. I mean, a very, very erotic kisser. I was grossed out by both of them kissing him. All right, well, you are due for your style of kissing. So I'm going to uh, get up. I'll come yeah, to you. Walk over here. Got the open mouth, bottom lip, open mouth, bottom lip, slash peck. I think I did good. I'm sure I did good, because hello, it's Aaron. I didn't see Aaron's kiss, but I don't think I missed too much. So I'm kind of hungry. Are you guys ready to go eat? No. Alrighty, cool. So I'm going to ask you guys a couple more questions, if you don't mind. I want to know if three of us from this table were to have a threesome, who would you not have in the threesome, and why? I mean, because obviously there's four people here. We can't have four people in a threesome. Why not? <laughs> four, I choose three, four. Four, three. <laughs> Erin may be good at fashion design, but she's obviously no math whiz. She's doing that new math. Yeah, the new math. Yeah, OK, so you've got to eliminate somebody. you included? No, I don't. <laughs> I can kick you out As there. long as I can <laughs> watch, it's all good. Oh Tara? Erin, <laughs> I would eliminate you. Why? <laughs> Because I think Kim would know what she was doing more than you and I would need some guidance. <laughs> Kim, so first of all, you know what, before you answer that, I just want to know, have you ever been with a woman? Yes, I have. Good call. High five for you. I did not do anything to this woman. She was doing everything to me, right. and that was it. Hello? That's like saying that you smoked what you didn't inhale. I would have said I'm scared of Tara. It's a boob thing, isn't it? Maybe a little. Tara's chest is kind of small. Maybe it's the dress, but yeah, it's pretty small. Who will Chris cut next? Kim might have eliminated herself by being a little bit too forward sexually. I think Chris is going to eliminate Tara because she's a little more conservative than what he's looking for. I think Kim should be cutting this round because she's a little bit too perverted. Eliminate. Is Chris going to eliminate next? Aaron, Tara, or Kim? All right, guys, I wanted to let you guys know that I have had a fantastic time at dinner. You guys are all really, really cool. But the name of the show is Eliminate, and I do have to eliminate one of you. So I am going to have to eliminate Tara. In this round, it seemed like maybe you, you got kind of a little bit more withdrawn from things. You didn't, I mean, you, you were kind of hesitating in some of the questions, and you were kind of, you know, it didn't seem like you were into it as much. It sounds like Chris is looking for somebody that's really skanky, and, and um, he's got the perfect candidate. When you're not keeping up with the, with the race, you know, you get left behind. Obviously, Chris wants the type of woman that's going to tie him up and spank him, and it's not me. <laughs> yeah. 
In round three, it's, we're cutting to the chase. I've decided to get a limo. We're gonna have the girls go in there. We're gonna talk a little bit in there. I just wanna find out whether or not, you know, they're for me in the bottom line. I am so P. Diddy right now. I think the limo with two women is just an awesome idea just because it kind of creates uh, an immediate intimacy. I mean, there's, you just, there's no way to get away. There's no distractions, there's nothing. If you guys were to rate yourselves as a lover, on a scale from one to 10, where would you be? I would have to say I'm a seven. A seven? Yes. Yay for you with no ego, I like it. Kim has absolutely no self-esteem. If I'm a 10, What's there for him to do? All right, how about you? I would say I'm a 10 because of my creativity. Well, damn. 10. I okay. like to infuse Not art within my ten. love making. <laughs> I feel as if I am a 10 in everything. What do you think of Aaron's answer? 10 answer was a little uh, overestimated. How do you know that? Because very few people are 10. That's a, a tough. I just, I'm just saying, I mean, you have to have That's all right. a whole lot of experience to be a perfect lover. Be a hoe. <laughs> Far from being a hoe, okay. I think she's still doing that new math. Really, I think she's about a four. So, what is it that's so special about your creativity when you when you are being intimate? I don't want to tell you that. You gotta, uh, what? You gotta no, find no, no, out. no, 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 no. Hey, you mystery, have to give me some sort of a. Mystery makes it happen. Mystery, I know. I'm telling you. I know. Sure. But you're supposed to be a 10. That's right. Oh, see, yeah, you did. You said you were a 10, <laughs> that's so. Fine. Yeah, I'm a 10, and I didn't give any specifics why, and then, so that's why it's kind of hard. Because I don't yeah. want to give it a full uh, cop out. All right. not that's trying fine. to answer Take the it question. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 okay, okay. What thing do you do in bed that is just so awesome? You know, you know it's so much better than, than the way that, you know, you would do it, or vice versa. Kim, you want to go first? I would have to say giving oral. Ah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you know. Yes. She confidently says yes. she is better than you. Kim showed her trashiness by admitting that she was the oral sex queen. Here we are, the jazz club ladies. Yes. Aaron, if you don't mind, I would like to show Chris. When we walked in the bar, I grabbed him by the hand, and I, I knew what I was going to do. I knew she wouldn't be down for it, so I just kind of left her in the dust. All right, I'm going into the forbidden land. Hello, is anybody in here? Uh, in the bathroom. OK. Oh, nice. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if I want to know. Nice. Oh, oh. You asked for it. Oh. Oh, yay. <laughs> His jaw dropped. He just didn't know what to do with himself. She took him into the bathroom on a date. Come on now, you don't do that. You just don't do that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. There so we go. What was going on in the bathroom? Ah, uh, she was showing me some jewelry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jewelry. He jewelry. has to say, good move for trashiness. Ew. I didn't think you'd be interested. No, I'm not. Go ahead. That's, so. that's all right. Will it be Kim or Aaron? Chris's final cut is next. We have come to the end of the evening, and first of all, I want to say you guys have been so cool, like super duper, super duper cool, but I am going to eliminate Aaron. Why? You are so sweet. Maybe you still kind of have some room to grow. There's definitely some adventure in you that needs to come out. All right, cool. you're lost. You're oh, lost. <laughs> Chris, you think I'm too young? You're the one that wanted somebody that threw everything out at you. If you ask me, that's a bit immature. Who's your 100,000 watt daddy? Come on. <laughs> Chris picked Kim because she's easy and she let him know exactly the way she really is. Not good. Uh -uh.